Hello there and welcome. Today we are going to be for the first time looking at some of the mods in Feed the Beast. Today we are going to be looking at how to download and get to the right mod pack that I'm going to be showing you the mods of. Now the series may have to change halfway through as a new, ep as a new mod pack may come out and we'll just do episodes on that. However, I'm going to show you the mod pack which we are currently using for our survival multiplayer series. Now, as of this recording, we haven't yet recorded any episodes of the mod pack which we are going to be using for this series. However, we will be, as I know it works and all that. So, first of all, you want to go to this address up here, www.feed-the-beast.com. If you don't put in the dashes, you go to a completely different web page. And what you want to do is you want to click Download EXE down here. So you can click on Download at the top here if you want, but it will just bring you down the page. Click on the EXE or the JAR. I recommend the EXE. When you click it, click the down arrow and click Save As. And you want to Save As FTB Launcher dot. Okay, if it doesn't have application down here, if it has all files written down here, then you want to type in .exe or if it is on application you're fine and you would just want to save that to wherever you want to save it okay then now now you can close down this and you should get an icon like this one here so just double click on the FTB launcher and here you go you have a list of all the mods now the top one may you may it may seem logical that the top one is the one that um, contains is the newest mod pack however that isn't the case really because as you can see minecraft version 1.4.2 whereas these two down here for minecraft version 1.4.6 now the one we are going to be using is direwolf 20's pack yes it is direwolf's 20 pack direwolf's 20 pack now other things to note about the ftb launcher it does have this console thing and it really that that really is only there if you get crashes. Okay, however the main thing here is news. Yes, you can see it has lots of news and tells you things that are happening and doesn't really look too bad. What does that talk about? So I've recently received further news. Okay, there we go. Options. So um install fol install for install folder. I've set it to my D drive. FTB. Just if you want to change it, just click the three hours here. Force update. You know that. You should know what that means. How much RAM you want to use? I'm going to be using five gig of RAM. Download location. Automatic. However, I don't know why. Show console. Ah, I didn't know you could do that. So I'm going to hide that because then it's not going to show this next time. Automatically maximize. Yes, we'll do that one as well. Language. E N U S. Unfortunately, there isn't any in UK, which is the proper language, as just spoken. And then, and then there's mod packs, as you saw. Just select the one you want, and click launch. However, if you want to download it for the server, click on filter settings, and then in the filter settings, change this client to server. Apply filter. Okay. Now what will happen is you can choose between these mod packs, which are left. Yeah and as you can see down here it says download server mod pack I'm not getting into how to set up a server but if you but that is how you can download the server mod pack if it's not in there you can't have a server for it okay and then there's also maps so what these do is these down download to the um, specific um, mod pack so if you if I was to load up the Fox or mod pack I'll have a different set of worlds to this Diablo 21. It's effectively two completely different Minecraft games, completely. So it'd be like having two Minecraft.exes with different, um, with different mods in each one. So worlds in one mod pack are completely different to worlds in another. Saves don't carry across, which means you can download these. However, they will only go to the the mod packs which are selected down here so FTB Insanity v version 1 and normal will only go to the the, F, the Feed the Beast Retro Survival Single Player is what that one stands for 
which is here. Feed the Beast Retro Survival Single Player. Minecraft version 1.2.5. So all you have to do with this is click. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you with one of them. So I'm going to show you with the Diable 21. We're going to install the map. Okay. So now what we can do is we can go to Mod Packs, and because this is the one we're going to be looking at anyway, we're going to now click Launch. Now on the first time you're going to have to put in. It says create a profile. You need to make a profile or something like that. Just uh, create a profile with your with your actual Minecraft username and password. Then just click launch. And as you can see, it has this really cool animation for feed the for feed the beast. And then hopefully it will make it full screen and load in just a second. So as you might have noticed, the top of my screen's cut off, and the bottom of my screen's cut off. That is because this is how large it needs to be for the Minecraft game. So there we go. It's a single player, as you can see. Map DW21. If I play this, you will see that this is the save the Minecraft world for Direwolf 20's world cool seed huh? it's a good seed it's a nice seed now what I'm now going to do is leave this and I have set up a a um, single player world no multiplayer multiplayer world as we may be doing this later with uh, ginger mum and hamster 31 however for the very first one there is no need as I am now going to show you how to use NEI we're going to be using this for every single other mod so may as well introduce you to it first so one or two advantages of this over um, too many items NEI stands for not enough items by the way now so there's a few major advantages some of them include monster spawners of each one and they don't just show they don't just show um, pigs all the time so if I place this down look it fixes the bug which only shows um, pigs now other things other things to note, there is a search bar down here. If you double click the search bar, it will search your inventory as well, which that just comes annoying. So I don't know, let's just say okay, I want to make no I want to look at I want to look at um iron chest plate. Okay. So here we go, iron chest plate. Now there are some really cool things you can do with um, NEI and to start with, with NEI it has these buttons at the top just like too many items so it's exactly the same you can turn main on and off, creative mode on and off magnet mode on and off. Now magnet mode is where if you chuck a bit of if you chuck a material down it should come towards you from quite a long distance away. Did you see that? Okay so let's chuck it down over there there we go. So that's magnet mode for you. And then the set time day to night, heal the player will give you full full health as well. Now, this also comes with two creative modes. There's normal mode, this is adventure mode. Then there's creative mode you're used to, which looks like it has extra tabs at the top, which I've never noticed before. Oh, that is cool. I haven't seen that. And it looks like what it's done is it's sorted all the mods into their own into their own little tabs here. So that's really cool. I didn't even know that was in here. Nice. However, I prefer creative mode plus. And what this does is this gives you a much larger inventory and still allows you to do the ser easy search over here and easy sort of too many items sort of feel to it now it also has saves down the bottom and item subsets 
item, item subsets, you can actually right click and there are some more save options here. However, if you left click on item subsets, you can get rid of things completely. So let's say if I wanted to get rid of all blocks shown in this right hand section here. What you do is you left click on this and then blocks, just right click on it. Now there's only 15 pages of stuff which isn't blocks, but all the blocks have been taken out. Now something I definitely recommend is if you go down to red power and go to um, micro blocks and get rid of them. I'm going to turn the sound down yet, cool. Okay, so some other things to note is, let's say you want to know how to make a furnace, yeah? Instead of, oh my god, there's a lot of furnaces now, isn't there? Instead of, you know, having to look at the Wikipedia Minecraft wiki, all you have to do is hover over the furnace and press R. And there you go, it shows you a recipe. This also works with potions. So, healing. Splash, po splash potion of healing, press R, and it will show you the brewing recipe. This also works with mods as well. So, red alloy. To make red alloy, you need to put it in an alloy furnace, as it says at the top. And then there's a selection of ways you can make red alloy. 81 pages of this stuff. Look at how you can make some red alloy ingots. So, and as you can see at the left hand side, it shows you what you can actually burn and what. So, so it works with mods as well. It's all interchangeable with mods, which is good. Now then, a few other things to note is if I was to get a pick, pickaxe, let's just get a diamond pickaxe, yes? So this is just a normal pickaxe. However, I am in creative mode, don't, don't forget. So what you can do is you can hover over some, a bit of something in your inventory and press X. And what this does is this brings up an enchantment table for you. However, it's a cheaty enchantment table, so I can go level 10, please. Let's go... Fortune, do I want fortune? Yes, fortune, um, efficiency, and unbreaking. Ooh. And then I can actually do some even, if I change it to unlocked, which I've only just noticed myself, you can actually give it loads of stuff which you really don't need on a pickaxe. Thorns, sharpness, punch, flame, infinity. Might as well. Let's just see what happens, guys, if we put everything on at once. So if I put it up here, can we see? <laughs> Look at all the list. That's cool. Okay, so let's just turn ourselves out of creative mode. As you can see, it's instant hit. And I'm definitely out of creative mode, guys. Look. This is unbelievably quick, guys. So, let's just turn ourselves back into creative mode. Fly out of here, and then turn ourselves out of creative mode, and one hit. And of course, we've got like mega hitting stuff on it. So, look at, you know, pushback and all this. So, you can really cheat in some stuff here. And quickly, let's just have a quick look at Diamond. Or. Let's just see what happens if we place one of these down. Oh, God. Oh, of course it's Silk Touch, isn't it? Silk Touch. What the Silk Touch does, guys, is it means that you don't actually break anything like you normally would. So, you see, Silk Touch is just means that I'm picking up the ore. Interesting. And... Oh well. So then, um, I think that's pretty much covered it. Oh wait, at the bottom here, you can choose how many items you want. So let's go ten, and then when you right-click on something, sorry, when you left-click on it, then what happens is you pick up ten instead. If you leave this at naught, you'll just pick up sixty-four of that object. And, um, yeah, so, this is my combined tutorial on how to install, um, 
on how to get and the mod pack which I shall be showing you how to use and and uh, how to you know use NEI and what NEI is about don't mind if I haven't shown you something we will be doing it in a um, with the mods as well so then guys realize I missed out two things I believe um, which is um, you can also highlight over something um, like um, let's go for glass yeah and tap U and what this does is this shows you the usage well, so what can glass be used for as you can see there is multi 43 pages of, no of shaped crafting where well, it has to be in a specific order to make an object there is shapeless crafting so these can be absolutely anywhere so this glass could be here instead and it will still make that micro blocks which is a red power thing shaped IC2 pulverizer don't even know what a pulverizer is however that is how you do that secondly there is an options tab down here where you can change from cheat mode to recipe mode what recipe mode does is let me just turn back to cheat mode and turn it to day recipe mode what this does is this means that you can't actually no matter how hard you click left or right you won't actually spawn anything in all that will happen is you'll go to the recipe so if you left click you go to the recipe and uh, if I'm correct right click shows you the uses over the top of them utility mode all this does is this gives you exactly the same thing as before however it gives you a delete button and a magnet mode you can change what buttons you can see in utility mode in a config file somewhere but I don't know where okay and so options utility mode so that's that any I enabled disabled will take away all of the stuff here minecraft layout old too many items layout so this will give you the too many items layout highlight tips shown so that, can you see the egg so here if I hover over don't mind I don't actually know what that really does block item ID settings oh god there's a lot of block ID settings I'm not going to go through them all any I plugins options not going to go through them all either and then there's a controls button here so usage enchantment hide show so O just hides the entire of any I which it could be useful so yeah thank you very much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe Bye-bye.